Hello, all my crafty friends. Welcome back to the channel. It's Miss Seashell here. It has been a minute since I have done a crafty video, and I have been all over the place in my you know craft room doing different things. So I'm just coming on today just to do some updates on some things that I've been working on, and. I uh, wanted to share with you a couple of uh, stamping projects uh, as well as uh, just a small haul from Hobby Lobby just for some art supplies. So uh, I went to Hobby Lobby just probably just recently um, and I've had these but I just went over to the art section and I found a few things that they had on clearance. Uh, not much but just just some things that I probably need and these were the uh, fine touch uh, all-purpose paint brushes and you can you know use these for your oil watercolor whatever um, so I got these an assortment size so I got those and then I want to try out this. It's called the uh, Professional Eraser. It's a Moo Eraser. So um, it says less shadow of graphite, no smears, no crumbles like needed rubber erasers, which I find when I use this rubber eraser, I get those little, um, little crumbles, as they say. So, I'll try this one out and see. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and open this one up. And there's two in a pack. And this is... I'm just going to open this up like this. This is what it looks like. Very flexible, very pliable. So, matter of fact, let me just see how it works. Let me grab a piece of paper here and just make a random pencil mark never can find anything when you when you need it but it's in your face when you don't right here goes something all right I'm just going to use this mechanical the mechanical pencil here yeah and let's just see. I mean, it's just a standard eraser, but it says no crumbles, but. You get crumbles. But it's a clean erase. So, not bad. For 49 cents. For two okay so moving on I also picked up these uh, mist bottles so you fill these up you know in this case if I do watercolor I'm just gonna fill these up with water and then uh, they're small enough just portable enough to carry if you you know you're doing some some outdoor creativity painting or sketching these will be easy to transport so you just fill these up with water and I saw a lady do this uh, on one of the channels she was painting and I found it to be very interesting I learned something new every day now this is a watercolor which is called a half pan set so uh, it's already got a little uh, paintbrush little set in it but i thought it was really cute um marked down to 6.99 and these are the colors so you open it up like that and it fits right in the palm of your hand so great for traveling as well Let me get this little booger open. There we go. So that's what it looks like. Here's your um, water reserve and your mixing station here. 
And then they give you a little small paintbrush. And very pretty colors. But getting back to what I was saying about the water bottle. You just take this, fill this up, and then just do a fine mist across your colors here. And it helps to keep them hydrated. So I will be practicing with um, these little um, sections here when I, when I start to do some uh, more water coloring. So I just thought that that was just a nice little share here. Watercolors if you're into it. Or acrylic. So that was just my little small uh, haul from Hobby Lobby. So now moving on, uh, I've been getting back into my stampings because, like I said, I've been doing different other projects and everything. Uh, I've been, you know, doing my crocheting. I've been doing my sewing. Uh, as a matter of fact, here is one of the things that I've made. It's just a granny square. And it's been a while since, you know, I did this. And so I made a few of them. So I just thought this really pretty, especially this, the colors. These are uh, it's like a real pretty lemon yellow. I know it's not coming across like that, but uh, it's a nice lime green and then white. Just real pretty spring colors. So I'm going to leave this down here because then I'm just going to share with you now the stamping that I've been doing. So I'm trying to catch up with all my recipe stamps um, from the um, the Diana Markham collection uh, for the recipe club uh, monthly stamp club from Adornit and I've done these in the past so uh, there's a few more that I I'm wanting to catch up and try to um, put in my little box that I made. Uh, what was this last last year? Yeah, it had to be last year. But you guys, I don't know if you remember when I made this this little uh, recipe box holder. And if you haven't, then you know there's a video that I shared with uh, everyone how I did this. Not actually how um, the whole construction, you know, from start to finish, but just the finished product. But it just fits so well, so cute. So I'm excited. I'm ready to start filling it up with the rest of, you know, with the rest of the recipes. It's a tongue twister. And I printed out, or not printed out, I stamped out. Some of the recipes that I have so far, with an addition to what I just showed you here. So, like I said, it's been trying to catch up. And I'll just share it with you right now. Here's the stack of Palmer stamps of the uh, monthly recipe club. And these are all designed by Diana Markham. And this is the recent one. I just got this one. Um, I'll share this one with you. This one is called uh, No No Peak Beef. Cute little cow motif and milk and um, little milking jars. Real cute. So I haven't stamped this one out yet. Like I said, I just got this one. I did uh, print this, or print, I uh, stamped this one out. This one is the recipe for the cowboy beans. And I just thought it was so cute. And I just used this trifold card, uh, card stock that I have. And I wanted to make, you know, like these folding cards like this. So I just took that stamp and just, you know, went all over using the add-ons to the recipe stamp which is the boot here and then these are the add-ons and then these are um stamps from some other uh 
other stamps wording and things so I just thought that that was really cute and you like I said you can just fold it up like that so that's that one and these are probably going to be a little bit out of order uh, by the month so <clears throat> uh, but I'll do my best to try to get through it uh, this one is called Mom's Sugar Cookies. So I stamp that one out. Right here. And then I stamped out Chicken Noodle, chicken noodle Soup, which is this one. just sit these over here and I'm going to go back in and color these and then I'll come back on and share with you guys how it turned out so that's the add-on to the mom's or to the uh, chicken soup um, like I said this one I've done this is the apple pie and oh this one the hot chocolate and that's what this one looks like. So let's sit that one here. And this is the add on to that one. I know it's kind of hard to see for the glare and everything, but that's the add on to that one. And then I did this one. This was the uh, honeybee or the. Um, honey bun cake so you guys already seen that one that is in here so that one was already done the fruit salad that was one of the first ones I did back in May and that's that one and the carrot there's that one oh yeah so this one is grandma alice carrot drop cookies so that's the stamp there and then this is the add-on there we go that's better and then the gingerbread which is this one, Grandma's Gingerbread Recipe, and that's the add-on to that. And then the, let's see, which one is this one? Oh, that's the, oh, the homemade bread. That's this thing. And then this is the add-on. So, see what I was saying? I took this word, or this phrase, and I just added it on to when I did uh, this um, design here, this stamp here. And I just used it for this one. Life is what you bake it. So, just mixing and matching. So that's the homemade bread. And then last was the uh, Christmas cheer. The wassail. And this is the add-on. So, so far... Uh, and I think I'm missing two, uh, one or two more, but um, I'm waiting for those to come in the mail. Uh, for, I think it was May, and trying to catch up. I'm thinking, I'm not sure if this one was for June or if this is for July with the, uh, the no peak and the cows. 
I just have to check the lineup and see how uh, how it's being uh, distributed. But anyway, um, I'm going to color these in. And then I'm going to try to put them into uh, some form of design as I did with not previous uh, recipe cards. Oh, I am missing that one, the uh, pumpkin bars in my stash there. And I think I stored that somewhere else with my fall uh, craft stuff, but I'll find it. So, I'll end this video for now, and then I'll come back and show you guys how I colored these in, and how I'm going to uh, make another type of card to go into my cute little recipe box here. So, I'm excited. Can't wait to share it with you guys. So... I hope everyone is having a great uh, weekend and staying crafty and staying safe, staying cool because it has been hot. Um, I'm going to catch up with you guys in another video. So thank you for joining me for Saturday Morning Makes and sharing uh, what I've been doing. Just trying to catch up with you guys. So take care and I'll talk to you later.